All right, this is the Bridgeport Easy Path 1 Teach Lathe, uh, serial number 002-077383-325. And we're going to put it under power and uh, put it through its cycles. Rod, yeah, you want to sure. walk us around? Yeah, there's not much I can do up here until we power it up. So if you want to just do a, these are all useless until we put power to it. I mean, I can show the, uh, I can show the tailstock, but yeah, that's pretty kind of standard stuff to lock. Okay. I uh, got that. So we can't do much here. All right, let's just go look in the electrical Slide panel. Slide that out, Chuck. Right, this is all quiet right now. This is quiet. It's, it's not even powered up. We got some books down here, software, two or three uh, programming manuals on the floor in the bag. Came with the machine. And basically coming around here to the uh, rear electrical panel, Pete. It's presently wired 480 volts. Primary, these are my temporary leads coming in. A couple of servo cards here for the two servo motors. Processor, drive. Floppy drives up in here. Actually, we show the door as you come back around. Just a floppy drive right up here. So that's this guy. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. I'm gonna step back. Step one over here. I'm gonna hit the disconnect up in front here. Okay. Yep. All right. Screen will come up. We'll get control. I'll home it. Play around with the rapids. Maybe do some spindle speeds here. I'm trying to punch in a quick box program, maybe. You can kind of maybe hang out over here if you get as much as you can. So. Okay. It's coming. Did you hear yes in the background? Yeah, I hear it. I like it. I hear a radio on, you're right. All right, we're going to do uh, move ABS. Let's, let's home it right off. we got control here. And do move. Let's see if it moves. Do move. Okay. We're coming into the control. Yeah, you come a little bit closer. Yeah. Just see what I got going. Move access to home. Business. Do move. Let me see if I'll, this thing doesn't, yeah, you have to make sure it's coming over here, right here. So. X back first. It comes back a few more thousands, and then Z will take off all the way to the tailstock back here. There she goes. Okay, we've got it right there. It's good. It's happy. So right at this point now, I can go into a manual mode. Let me get out of this and enter that. Enter. Go four. Jog. Let's get into jog. Jog X. Let's do Z first. Jog Z. Minus. We'll come this way in. Wrap it. Let's go X minus. Same thing. Get that out of the way. Wrap it in. Show what we got here. Plus, minus, plus. Got the Z. A little bit there still. Can you do that again? Because I was not in a good position. You okay? Yeah. Plus Z or X? Just both. All right, good. Here's X, here's X a little bit. Plus out. Minus in. At this point, we should have manual control too with no problem. So, yeah. That's all the uh, pots. It's all electronic. So we're good there. You can leave it right around here. At this point, I could probably bring up some spindle speeds here. We'll do a couple of low ones. Green, red, two. Green, red. 
two. Let's get this one. Let's see what we get. It's low speed, of course, on uh, the spin, though it's high. Okay, that's high. I didn't realize it. Rush the brake coming here's neutral. Brake. And we stay in the same range, but flip over to low, which should give us around 45 RPM, maybe. Leave it in low, kick it up to mid range, maybe. Yellow, red, three. Yellow, red, three. Yellow, red, three, about 375 and 190. Let's do 190 first. And the 375 and high. Get up one more here. Up to about 15. Let's just go all the way to 21. Yellow, blue, yellow. Let's go high. Right up the top. Blue in three. Low speed. Let's go with low first. This will be 1060 and 2120. Here's 1060. Moving along pretty good. Neutral. And break. And 2160 in high range. This one's going to scream. These belts aren't tight enough, Pete, so it's going to take off. Let's see what it does. Put it up there. Put it up there. I'm going to come down a little bit before I hit the brake. back to low, I'm going to try reverse. I didn't even try reverse on this machine yet, so let's make sure we got low. Let's go over. And reverse. And back to mid-range, so we can run it with our program and be able to hear that okay. And the servo is yellow, blue at 530. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. It's about five, 500 RPM in high range. I will run it at that for the sake of programming. It's pretty much it there. So we got that, we got the spindles working pretty good. I can pop in a little program here maybe, Pete, see what I can do and make okay. a little box cut possibly. Okay. Uh, let me get out of this. Go into F2 offsets. Offsets, one out down. I'm just going to do go through it kind of quick here, but hit the plus, get that in there, and <clears throat> go down one, enter, actual Z, zero, zero, enter, 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 take care of that, set again, and measurement value. You've got seven point. 7.176, let me get that down, 0.76, okay, put that in there, 7.176, that's our diameter, and what's next, zero, let's save it, that's good, roughing the part, tool check, tool one, offset one, we're good with that, we're good, enter, and then what's next? Enter. Oh, let's do event. Two, do event. And what cut? Rough cut. Eight, rough cut. Put our numbers in per 7.176. We'll take 200 thousands off here. 200 thousands a pass. We'll take off two inches, I should say. So let's make it 5.176. And diameter, 5.176. 176. That's good. And Z, let's make a pass of 750, three quarters of an inch. Point 750. It's a three quarter inch pass, moving it a couple inches. Diameter step. We're going to take 200 set of crap. Why not? Point. We're diving in because we're cutting here. There we go. And 20. Let's make that a 20. And the step back. No good. Point zero two zero. That's good. And zero ten, zero ten. Those are all good. We're ready. We got a what should be a little 
box cut here, three quarter inch long, moving in, maybe 10 passes, 200 thousandths a pass. You can kind of move in on this, Pete, and I'm going to leave this on low so you can kind of see what's happening. Start the spindle. At this point, I should be able to start the program. It's moving. Slide's coming. I don't have it perfect. I'm cutting left to right. It's going to move over three quarters of an inch. If you want to come in here and then later come in here, you have time. I'm making ten passes. Then you can watch the clock over here too. Just coming in. I'm just going to make another pass and kind of go zoom in here and here. These two areas you can see the best. Cross light goes in two hundred thousandths each pass of three quarters of an inch. Just about there. And we back up a little bit, pulls out, back over, and goes in. So if you go here, and you get there, at this angle, you get at You can see the ways kind of, it's the only way you can tell if it's moving is the ways here and the ways here. So backing up, in, and then over. I don't even know if you pick it up on the camera. I hope. Actually, I should be wrapping back fast. I don't have it programmed just right. You should wrap it back, wrap it over, and feed. I'm moving kind of slow here. We're going to switch up here now. We've got about three more passes. You can see the same program on this hill. Two hundredths out of crack, so we're going into 5.876 there. Just went in, just fed in, 0.5. We're going to make our way to 5.176, so maybe three more passes. If you got the, I don't know how much of this you got, I can hit hold here. Can you see this on the screen or not? Here's my hold, feed hold. Just stops the whole program. And right back over here again, starts. Kicks right back on, so one of the features. There's a feed in there, 5-3. Might get it on the next 176. Maybe two more passes and we're done. Go back out. So there's a 750 cut, three quarters of an inch every time. 0.176. There it is. That's our end game. 5.176. That should be it. Not after this pass. I should back out of there and just stop. We'll come back real slow, back to zero, and just sit. Let's see what we get. Here it comes. I said that should be a rapid right now, it's just moving slow. I don't know if you can see my finger. It's going to come all the way back to our zero point. Very close. That's it. Back to our zero setting on the screen. That's done. Spindle stop. And that's our starting point again. Uh, that's about it, I think. Got that. These all work. E-stop works. Cycle start. This is spindle. Spindle engagement. All the ranges work. I haven't seen any problem with that. So uh, there's not much else to talk about, I don't think, on this one. Control's pretty responsive. All the keys. Everything works pretty good on this thing, so. Thanks, Rod. Yep, there she be.